Chosen ones, your narcissist wants to play you close. Here's why. Chosen ones, every time, have you noticed every time you break away, hence proximity? Hold on. Chosen ones, even if it's going for a walk, even if it's going to the bathroom, even if it's going wherever you go where the narc is not, have you noticed that your true potential is like all all encompass all encompassing like chosen ones like like your true greatness spews out of you every millisecond every time every minute that you're in every second that you're not in the presence of a narc like you have so much potential inside of you chosen ones and you just have to get away from people who don't want to see you be at your top potential you know what i'm saying so chosen ones this is why they play you close they play you close because they know they gotta stop you they know they gotta stop you if they don't chosen ones you're gonna be big you're gonna be the best Right now, let me tell y'all something dirty, dirty right now. Right now, if you could get outside of your body and look at your family, you would look like a typical member, typical family member, someone at the bottom of the family who's not doing so well. And, you know, life is life, right? Chosen ones. You're projected to be the top tier. You're, you're projected to be the elite of the family. You're projected to be the the, the, the the only one who touched a certain amount of, mil, of, of dollars. The only one who touched a certain amount of people. That's you. But the narcissist is hating chosen ones. They don't like what you're projected to be. They don't like what they're projected to be. So they play you close. They got to know all your business. They got to know when you got a doctor's appointment. They got to know when type, what time you got to go to work, what type of job you got. They clocking you because they know as a collective Every narcissist in your family, or hell, your friend group, whatever, they know that this person is projected to be the best chosen ones. Like, they have to slow you down, argue with you, gaslight you, do all this woo woo magic, right? Only to find out, family, that you're going to win anyway. Imagine how mad they are. You wonder why they pick on you. You wonder why they throw salt on your name. You wonder why they throw dirt on your name. Chosen ones, you gotta realize how much you frustrate these people. These people are actually dying because they're stressing that they can't get at you the way Satan wants them to, but God is holding your enemies off. You went to God, remember? You pray to God, chosen ones. You you have a religiousness inside of you that you don't, you wasn't tapping into in the first quarter. You wasn't tapping into in the first quarter. You have immense creativity. You have immense stardom. You have immense favoritism. You have immense everything. You are a positive beacon of light. But yet, in the presence of this narc because chosen ones the, the, the truth of the matter is just this narcissism is a worldwide phenomenon so what does that mean chosen ones what that means is it's not it's look as a chosen one you gotta remember darkness and light just don't like each other. 
So every time, like, it, lightness and darkness can't exist in the same space, scientifically speaking, right? Universally speaking, factually speaking. So if you live in a house with a narcissist, they're going to try to dim your light, vertently and inadvertently. And then they're going to have the nerve to think that you're trying to make things positive by being around because they're so stupid. But see, we got to stop judging darkness because that's what they are. They live for the kingdom of darkness. They thrive in the kingdom of darkness. The question, chosen ones, is how can we move around that without 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 uh, too much, you know, damage is being done because these people are wicked uh these i ain't gonna talk too much on them like that like that family because you know whatever you give attention to grows magnifies you know strengthens whatever but i just wanted to make this video because chosen ones look when you focus on yourself you break the algorithm because they can't measure up to that they can't figure that out they can't figure that out yeah. Yeah. they can't figure that out like your your stardom is so great and this is the funny part chosen ones they not going to believe it till they see it like and you not even going to believe it till you see it first it's funny because to this day, chosen ones, I still don't be seeing it in myself. I still don't be seeing it because Satan won't let me. Because he want to keep a dark cloud over you. And it's all situational. Like I told you, the devil knew, okay, it's going to be a bunch of chosen ones on this earth. Let me give all the money to the, to the, to the, to the Satan believers. And then people are going to just abuse the other people with the money. With the, you know, and narcissism is something called financial abuse chosen ones that's what that is financial abuse they want to diss the last hell mary attempt they saying then the chosen ones got smarter with what we are but are they smart enough to know that i'm going to abuse them with this money because that's like witchcraft money is like this liquid invisible you know thing currency frequency so they could like if you put if you live with them, they could do everything they can to make you feel uncomfortable, which is a good thing. But it's like it's not always good because they doing it, they overdoing it, family. Like they don't even realize, like, okay, this person already is on they you know, in their mode, in their mode. This, this person, the chosen one, they already blossoming, they already growing. They don't care. They're like, nah, we're gonna keep uh we're gonna keep trying to put our, our foot on their neck. That's what these Satanists believe. They're gonna keep trying to do it, and they think that they're motivating you by doing that. But it's crazy because, like I told you, a Satanist can't motivate an angel. So it's gaslighting at its finest because they're gonna try to make it in this matrix by telling you they think that you they don't think you stupid. They just know you're smart, and that makes them, again, frustrated, which makes them force a, a move. Like, what I mean, ch chosen ones, when you got no moves left to make, you gonna for you gotta force a move, even if it's not gonna work or work. You're like, let me just do this, just have my best move from this position. But, like I said, like when you get what you what you want in life. You're going to look at these people again. You're going to look back. And you're going to be like, man, these people was just messing with me, man. They were just messing with me. You feel me, chosen ones? That's what it be seeming like, you know? Like they just was messing with you. I know how you feel. And because of they doing that, you, the beautiful thing is that when you get on your ish, chosen ones, you don't got to look back. You don't got to talk to nobody. You don't even got to do that. To, well... You don't got to do it today, but you got to kind of tolerate, you know, a little bit. I mean, just a smudge. Like, you feel me? I don't even believe that you have to do that because, like I told you in the last video, if you love Mother Nature, then you can you can um, supplement for all of that fake 
smile and fake waving and fake hello how you doing you know the family family members be so fake that they can't even fake being fake you know what i'm saying eventually they gotta let you know they don't like you but they're gonna do it in a subtle way but it's like, do you do not realize how much and deep I don't care about you not liking me? They don't even realize that, chosen ones. They don't even realize. That's how deep of a delusion. They don't even realize that you don't even care about them not liking you because you don't care. So it's just two different worlds, family. That's all. That's just, that's just what it is. I'm about to end this video, though. It's two different worlds, man. You can't be in their world without losing yourself. They can't be in your world without losing they self. Because it's darkness versus light, like I said. And that's going to always have smoke. You know, it's going to always be smoke between darkness and lightness. Like, you can't name a year where that wasn't happening. Because it is what it is. And see... They think that you slow. They think you don't know that you lightness, pure lightness. You can't even hang around there for real without, you know, you without playing yourself. That's why I made this video to let you know as soon as you leave, it don't matter if you go for a walk. As soon as you get out of the square, square, you know, their square, anything that, as soon as you get out of their house, their car, anything that's a square or rectangle, once you alleviate your, 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 your corpse, your body, from their presence, bro, all of your, all of your stuff is just waiting for you. Like the women, the houses, the cars, the opportunities. You just got to put a little bit more time into being outside and doing it in a way where you're not even going out. But see, look, look, what I mean by that is when you go out, it's other things in life that's darkness too that's waiting for you to go out. So it's like you gonna go out. But then you're going to run into some other BS because there's things waiting to do it. So you got to actually strategize, family, your whole game plan. Because, again, the enemy is always on attack because guess what? They know any wriggle room and you're going to do something phenomenal. I'm not even lying to y'all. This video right here, this is my best one. I don't care how many likes you get because... Any little wiggle room, they, they, they know. Any little wiggle room they give you, you're projected to be the best in the family. And it's crazy because they seen it in you the whole time. But they knew greatness can't really thrive with us. Like, if you're a high vibrational, but we're around you all the time, we can't see how good you are. So you can't get mad at us for act, acting like how we act around each other because we don't. We don't appreciate you, especially with you not being where you need to be. So it just doesn't even matter. But that's why I say the beautiful thing is you're going to get a relief check for all that you've been through. You're going to get a relief check. As soon as you get, you work hard, family, and do what you want to do in life. As soon as you break through, they're going to be looking different. They're going to be looking different because you took that opportunity. Not only did you take it, but you scored like Kobe. You took the shot, the game final shot, believed in yourself. You scored, and then they're going to act like, oh, well, I love you, and you don't never call. And You know, the, the typical naysayer, I call it the naysayer backhand slap. Like they slapped you this way when you were struggling and trying to find your way. But then in order for them to even have any conversation with you, they got a backhand slap you now by, by ridiculing and gaslighting and forming an opinion of something that has nothing to do with something. It has nothing to do with nothing. But they feel so stupid now, but, but they feel entitled and stupid. You see what I'm saying? So now they're like, well, I raised you. So since I raised you, you know, but that that they're they're reaching now, right? Because you raised me like, okay, you raised me like I couldn't stop you from doing that or start you from to do that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like it has nothing to do with nothing. But they're good at creating nothing out of uh, something out of nothing. But the something they create also still is nothing, because you can't create something from nothing. 
So when you remember family, when you talk to these people, it's typically not going to be about nothing. Nine times out of 10, it's never about nothing. So that's that's really the name of this video, really. Like, like the, 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 the moral of the video is like, stay focused. Your greatness is your greatness. Like, don't let nobody, you know, intervene because they have nothing to do with it. That's just the matrix for you. That's how the matrix goes. So I'm going to see you out in the next video, man. I'm out, man. Peace.